Well, hello, my darling dear. How are you? It's been a minute. I'm Mags. You're watching White Buffalo Divine. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. It is time to do an overview of your 2022. I know I've been lacking on my ratings. I do apologize. It's the holidays. And some of us just take breaks, okay? Anyways, I have in my hand all 12 zodiac signs uh, cards. Uh, we're going to shuffle on camera. I have no clue whose reading this is going to be. This is a generalized reading. That being said, if you want to go a little bit more in depth on what to expect, we can break it down quarter one, two, three, and four. Go a little bit more in depth on a private one-on-one -on -one session. All the information you need on that is in the information box below. All right. I'm going to go ahead and fan these out. You've seen me shuffle. Which one are we pulling? Who's getting the first reading? What up, Aquarius? Yes. Let's roll, baby. All right. Mm. Where am I going to put this? Let's put you right here. I love that. Okay. So, Aquarius. I feel like I'm connecting already with somebody who is just so fed up of how things have been going. And you are ready for new, 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 new. Okay. What do we need to see? What's coming in for Aquarius as we move into 2022 throughout the year? General energy. I just saw a uh, uh, carousel. Wheel of Fortune. Oh, this is going to be a good one. I can tell already. Okay, so I saw a carousel. There's Queen of Wands, Four of Cups in the reverse. Damn, Aquarius. Okay. First and foremost, let's talk about this new energy that you're going to be having because it is it is like a boost as well as a revitalization it's new as well. So it's almost like you have been harnessing. I'm now seeing, um, it's really interesting. I'm thinking of a video that I just saw not too long ago of dog walkers in Central Park in New York. And, you know, one person would have like 15 dogs or whatever. And they have all these leashes they're holding on to, you know, these reins. I feel like I'm getting that image and it has to do with you and how you've like, reined in your energy as we move into 2022 and that's how it's going to be throughout the year no more of this like uh people making you feel rejected yeah there's six of cups um there's something here about in the past you maybe even offered your heart soul and everything you had on the line to somebody and they just straight up didn't even accept it that energy is going by like, yeah, what that what was that flip? I can't make it up. Hair font? Mm-hmm. There may be something uh there may be something specific that comes in during May for you, Aquarius. There may be a vacation you're taking in May. You may be getting a new job or promotion in May. Someone of significance may have a birthday in May. Wow. Okay. This is fantastic. Aquarius. Yo. This is awesome. Okay. King of Wands. The Chariot Justice Seven of Wands. You and source are so intertwined on collaboration in 2022 and because you're in such a high vibration you're being like a catalyst for others and almost being catapulted at the same time it's like whatever previously amount of time things used to take to get done it's like half that this year whether it's your workload projects you were doing around the house 
if you're in school, it takes you less time to do your homework or your assignments now because you're just faster. You're more focused. You're clear minded. You're also being very courageous with anything that makes you remotely question your self-worth. And we've got heavy karmic justice coming in for you as well, Aquarius, okay? I've got music playing on my computer in the other room. It's Chris Stapleton. I can't tell what song it is. Chris Stapleton may have relevance. You may go to a Chris Stapleton concert. Knight of Cups. Ace of Cups. <clears throat> Aquarius, this year in particular... You are meeting somebody who is extremely soulful. Their energy is very uh, calming, safe, warm. But this person helps guide you towards finding yourself. This could, and this doesn't necessarily, if it, and if it's not someone you, you haven't met yet, it's someone you know now that's very close with you. Yeah, Emperor. And there's Page of Wands. Yeah, it's like this person brings out your inner child. This person, uh, you may have kids with this person. Uh, this person may be a um, an Aries. There may be a little boy of significance this year coming in as well. If you do not have children, you may become pregnant this year. And I want to say it's unplanned. Ooh. Protect yourself if that's not what you're looking for, y'all, okay? Uh, I also see you going to a beach. Let's get another deck on this. <clears throat> I'm getting the carousel again. Carousel. Carousel. Carol. Is her name Carol? Someone named Carol has relevance as well. I'm now seeing a carousel on a beach, like a boardwalk. I don't even know where that would be. I don't... <clears throat> I used to live outside of Los Angeles. I don't remember any being out there, maybe. Oh, two of cups, baby. Dang. Wow. Oh my God. Okay, Aquarius, listen. If you are single, you are meeting or finally coming into union with your future partner, okay? My cards don't lie. We had two of cups prior to that. If you are not single and you're with somebody or you are married... Holy crap, this is about to be one of your best, most passionate years yet. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Damn. <clears throat> wow, Aquarius, I don't even think we need to go any further. <sighs> what outlying factors... Will Aquarius experience in 2022 that they may not know about right now or that might catch them off guard? The village. There may be a move that you are not intending. I see relocation. 
I see possibly uh, meeting another person's family and really building relationships with them. I'm now hearing the saying, it takes a village to raise a child. Uh, you may be moving to somewhere with the word village in the street name or in the neighborhood name or on the apartment complex name. Tell you about the beach, man. These are factors that you may not be aware of. The ocean. This year in particular, Aquarius, this year in particular is going to be very growth oriented for you with your relationships with your network. Uh, really becoming close to people that you maybe didn't ever think you'd be that close to, or you're meeting people that you are now going to be close to. Yeah, the pilgrimage, uh, or the pilgrim. This is very much a part of your spiritual journey. And there's a lot still to come with your ascension and your enlightenment path that you can't even wrap your head around right now because you can't perceive it, okay? So there's going to be heavy upgrades this year with regards to your spiritual journey. And understand that it's not your job to know how, when, or why. It's your job to go with the flow, be accepting of the energies, and allow things to occur, no matter how uncomfortable they may make you. Because change always feels awkward, right? A lot of people don't like change. Yeah, bottom of the deck after that, we had the temple. This is hella spiritual growth for you this year. Maturity. Really finding your inner zen, your inner peace. Finally, being 1,000% at peace with your soul. Ooh, that's deep. One more. The kiss. Unknown factors you may not see. A new person, a new relationship, a reboot in your marriage, a revitalization in your relationship. It's going to be a great year for you, Aquarius. Woo! I want to be an Aquarius in 2022. Damn. All right, love. Well, if you want to go a little bit deeper in on this message, just for a, a overall, a little bit more specific to you and your story, uh, again, all the information is in the box below. I would be happy to uh, do that or even a free flowing. We can do an intimate reading. We can do uh, career spreads, whatever you want to do. I do all different types of readings. But if this is where we part ways, Aquarius, I'm going to just go ahead and say it. Congratulations in advance. This is a beautiful and very well-deserved year coming in for you. I hope that you you are ending this year, 2021, on a good note, that you've spent time possibly with your family or friends. If it's been a rough one for you, all of my love, light, and prayers your way. It was kind of a weird one myself. Uh, but in the meantime, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I hope to see you back very soon. All my love. Bye.